All right, class, here's number 84. So we have this student, um, and they're going to go a distance of 27 miles eventually, because that's how far it is to get to their, uh, the student commutes 27 miles to attend college, all right, uh, after driving a few minutes. So at some point, they're going to end up here. Um, we don't know how long that takes. Um, it's going to be a certain amount of time. I'm just going to, I'm not going to put a label in there yet. Uh, but it, we start out uh, looking, probably driving at a reasonable pace, looking like we're going to get to here. And then at some point we realize, uh-oh, uh, how long does it say? After a few minutes. So again, it doesn't say how long. So I'm just going to call this T1. After a certain amount of time, we realize, uh-oh, we forgot our paper. Uh, and we got to go back. Driving faster than normal. So we're going to get back quicker than, it sounds like we're driving faster going back. Um, so this, this line represents how far we are away from our house. So at some point we get a certain distance away. It doesn't say how far, so we'll even call this a distance one. We don't know how far we're away, but we realize, uh oh, we forgot our term paper. So we turn around, we drive back, and we're going faster than normal. So it's going to be, we're going to get to this point quicker than we got from here to here, so to speak. We get our paper, and then we return back, and it, we have no more difficulties until we get to there. So you could put some labels in here. We call this T2. This is the time we get back to the house, and then just call this T3. Those are the significant points, and you could label those and tell people what they are, but I think just by the drawing, people can figure that out. So this would be uh, number 84 on page 33. Hope this helps.